I am going to show you just one really good reason why I talk constantly about using mulch in the garden. Hi, I'm Karen, market farmer, host of the Just Grow Something podcast, and a couple of weeks ago I did an episode all about planting by soil temperature. So having the correct soil temperature before you seed your garden or before you put transplants out into your garden is important for a couple of different reasons. Most of which being if you have warm season plants and that soil is not warm enough, it can actually damage the roots and it can cause those plants to become stunted. Mulch is a really good way to help control that soil temperature and I'm gonna show you a couple of reasons why. So we're gonna start with this garden bed. It has have all of the mulch removed and I'll tell you why here in just a minute. But let's start with my handy dandy soil thermometer. This thermometer, I got it for like 10 bucks on Amazon. It's perfect for taking soil temperature readings because this probe is six inches. Well, when I put this down in the soil and I leave that button up, oh, about an inch or so above the ground, I know that I am testing the soil temperature where the root system normally would be. It's cover that there so you can see and which is at the four to six inch mark so I know if I'm putting that probe down in there that I'm getting it to right about where I would be putting my warm crops in or my warm weather crops in so now that we give it a chance to kind of cool down just a little bit out of the sun and get a reading you can see let's see if we can get close there we are dropping to about 70 degrees, maybe 68. That is perfect for planting our warm season crops. Warm season crops need to have a, a absolute minimum of 50 degrees Fahrenheit, but they do best when those soil temperatures are about 60 to 65. So 65 to 70 is perfect, this is beautiful. But this is a soil that doesn't have any mulch on it. What does that mean for our cool weather plants? Well, let's see the difference. So these are some of my cooler weather crops. Let's pull this back. Whoa, there we go. These are kale, and they like to have a cooler soil temperature than maybe, say, tomatoes would. And I've got a really good layer of mulch in here. So if we pull this mulch back, and then we take our soil temperature again at the same depth, and we zoom in, let's see. Okay, so now that it's come down to temperature, we see that that soil temperature is about 62, 63 degrees. So we're looking at five to seven degrees cooler than the one that did not have the mulch. That's good news for plants that like that cooler root zone. And that mulch over top of those kale plants wasn't put down until after I actually planted them. So if I had had the mulch in place beforehand, that soil would likely be even cooler which is why that other soil is uncovered. So that bed I'm looking to plant warm season crops in. So I have pulled the mulch off of that bed to allow the sun's rays to penetrate that soil and warm it up more quickly. Part of the reason that the soil takes so long to warm up in the spring is because it's generally saturated with the precipitation it has received over the winter time. So a lot of the heat from the sun is going to burn off some of that moisture and then it starts to warm up that soil. So if you can keep it uncovered while you're waiting for it to warm up, it's gonna warm up more quickly. Versus the stuff behind me that I really should have had the mulch on all winter long, which would have helped those, those soil conditions remain cooler a little bit longer in the spring for these cool weather crops. So play around with your mulch a little bit. Always have it on hand, keeping the soil temperatures either cool or warming them up, depending on how you layer them is going to be the key depending on what you're trying to plant.